I think has a lot of ability there. Safety spot, Harem Atwater, young man that's already on campus. Harem is, uh, went to high school at Southwest DeKalb High School in Atlanta. Comes to us from uh, Garden City Junior College. Uh, very physical safety that I think we desperately need to help at the safety spot. And hopefully he'll bring some help to us there immediately because we certainly need it there. And then another young man that is coming to us from Jones Junior College is Elliot McGaskin. Uh, he is not here now, be here this summer. Elliot is out of Mobile, actually went to high school with uh, Fran Trail Forest, uh, and uh, another guy that I think will bring a lot to us from a physical aspect. And then the other young man at, at uh, safety spot that we signed is David Connor. He's a teammate and uh, Marvin Burnett at South Panola and Batesville. Again, a physical guy that plays extremely hard, and I'm really excited about getting all three of those guys on this football team. And the defensive end, Derek Slaughter is already on campus. Young man that comes to us out of uh, Coffeyville, Kansas. Uh, you know, a physical guy that has a tremendous speed for a defensive end, that I think will give us a give us a lot of speed off the corner as as a, as a pass rush guy. And then Amos Draper, a young man out of Tanner High School, that I think is a very physical football player. Very impressed with him, watching him on film. Uh, the, the physical way he plays the football game, and we're excited about getting Amos in our program also. And then Andrew Mahon from uh, Dallas County High School in Selma, um, very athletic, a lot like Derek Slaughter, not as uh, old and mature as Derek right now at this point, but a very athletic guy, tremendous speed, plays with great passion, and I think uh, you know, will be a tremendous asset for us. And again, too, I think he's a guy that has a lot of upside that, that will be great uh, for us in the future. And then the last one is Justin Wells, a um, young man that comes to us out of uh, junior college uh, in Kansas, I think at Hutchin, Hutchinson Junior College. He's uh, from actually from Huntsville, Alabama, uh, physical defensive tackle, good speed, good athleticism for a defensive lineman, and, um, you know, we, we're excited about having him. And then, you know, we also uh, mentioned, you know, we're looking for a uh, offensive lineman receiver, and we're also still in the process of evaluating and looking at and in hopes of signing a kicker uh, if we can find the right one. I think that's something that's very important that, you know, in our, in our you know, evaluation and process of signing guys, uh, you know, you want to sign, you know, your numbers, but I also want to be sure and be conscious if, uh, you know, if we sign them, I want to be sure they can play for us. And, so I don't want to just sign someone just to be signing them. And so we're still evaluating uh, you know, several kickers to hopefully be able to come up with one that, that we can sign here in the near future. Any questions? You, you use the word speed quite a few times on these guys here. Was that something that, that you targeted and felt like you needed to upgrade, or, or did it just kind of happen? No, I think you, you you know speed is one of the first things you look for. You know, whenever you recruit someone, obviously. You, one of the good football players, but you know, I'd rather take a guy that maybe is a little undersized or maybe not quite as developed yet as, as he should be. You know, but uh, the speed factor I think is always important uh, because if, obviously the faster you get there, the more you can make happen whether you're on offense or defense. So, uh, uh, so speed is something that we've all we're always looking to upgrade, and, and <coughs> one uh, uh, area that I think is always very important. Talk about the kind of bizarre nature of the, the way it ended. It, I mean, did you kind of see that early in January that it could end up this way, or did it sort of Well, just... you know, I can't say I saw it in January because, you know, guys were committed and some would change their mind, which is kind of normal. But once uh, in the past, once you get, you know, four or five days out, things have pretty much have been shaped up of, of what it's going to be like. But like I said uh, earlier, I mean, I you know, as of last night at 1230, I wasn't sure exactly on some guys and uh, uh, which made us change some things and uh, and I think that's just kind of uh, like I said earlier the sign of the times that we're in. Uh, position wise what do you feel your uh, your biggest need was going into a uh, well without a doubt linebacker and safety spot I mean, uh, we did we did a good job there of, of signing five linebackers and three safeties and I think all of them are excellent football players and all of them should have a chance to come in and help us this year. Are there any uh, 
there any areas that you, I mean, I know you're still working on some areas, but there's any areas you're disappointed in this? Uh, well, I, you know, I'm very happy with the two offensive linemen that we've signed for again. I think they're very athletic and I think will be outstanding. But uh, uh, I, we do need another offensive lineman, maybe even two. Uh, and then the uh, same thing at receiver. I'm very happy with uh, Nick Adams and, and uh, Freddie Moore, but at the same time, I think we need one more person there. But again, I want to be sure that they're guys that we feel good about them coming in and being able to play for us. Uh, and we could go sign another lineman out there right now, but, but I want to make sure it's the right one. And the same thing at the receiver spot, making sure we're getting the right guy. You keep making references to coming in and helping out quickly. How many of these do you see? Well, all, all the junior college guys, we obviously think will come in and compete to start, uh, or, we w or we wouldn't have signed them. I mean, if uh, any time you're going to sign a junior college guy, I think uh, that's what your expectations are. Uh, that plus the, you know, I think it's 14 or so high school guys that we've signed. You know, I'm sure that they'll, some of them will help us. Uh, exactly how many, you know, time will tell. But if I had to guess, I'd say about half of them would probably. Be in a, uh, you know, be in our playing rotation next year. Coach, where does this class rank for you as far as talent and what? Well, uh, again, on paper, it is by far the best class since I've been here. Uh, like, obviously, you don't play the game on paper, but but it is a very good class, uh, and we're very excited about it. What made it possible? What was different about this year versus? Oh, I, you know, I think it's just the hard work that our staff put in, you know, uh, was a main factor. I think, uh, you know, it was a fact that we've gotten, we've made some headway with facilities, you know, the weight room, training room, and academic center has been very helpful in our recruiting process. Uh, and then I think, you know, the, the, the city of Birmingham and, and the school itself, it does a good job of selling itself. Okay, I'm sorry to be redundant, but... um. Who are a couple of key players you expect to make immediate impact? Well, again, I think all of the uh, junior college guys that we've signed, I expect them to come in and compete uh, to start. If, you know, if, they, if we didn't think they could do that, we wouldn't have signed them. But uh, at the same time, they're going to have to earn their spot just like everybody else. And I think we'll have some high school, some of the high school guys will help us too, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see how that works out. You, you signed some guys late in both your years here, but is this year, I mean, you say three to five, is that a, a larger number than the first couple of years of the spots? That you've yeah. like well, I, I think I remember correctly. Last year, I think we had two, had two spots left. I don't, I can't say that I, I remember that 100%, but, uh, you know, we, we, you know, we worked hard to try to, to get the people we wanted. Uh, we didn't get them all, obviously, so uh, now we got to go back and, and regroup and, and try to find somebody that, that helps that we, that we think can come in and help us. And again, I, I, I want to be very diligent and very uh, uh, in the process of, of evaluating them and not just go sign somebody just to have another body or name, you know. So, so we'll take our time and, and uh, see how this thing plays out. Does a guy like Greg Bowles last year, I mean, you sign him late and he ends up starting. 12 games for you, 11 games, whatever it was. Does that kind of give you sort of a good feeling about you know knowing that it can work that way? Oh, yeah, I mean, just over the years, I mean, and, and being in this business, there's always people that come up late. I mean, whether you know, after the day somebody will get left out, uh, you, know, you know, later on some junior colleges guys will, you know, make it that they didn't think we're going to make it. Same thing with high school guys. You know, you may not find out that they're going to be, be ready to go to May or June. So, um, uh, I'm sure that it all worked out, but again, I think the biggest thing, key for us, is to take our time and do our homework and make sure we're getting what we want. Uh, were any of the guys on your uh, your team from last year were they instrumental in getting getting some of these guys in? Well, I think it's always just like I told uh, uh, the team this year and every year we talk about that they're our best recruiters, and, and uh, you know we can talk to we're blue in the face as coaches and. You know, the recruits or parents are listening, I'm sure, but when it's coming from the players, it's a lot more meaningful. And so, uh, you know, for any time to be, any time you're successful recruiting, your current players have to be a big part of it.